opinions on topics. It's a threat to the op-ed page. Because a blogger, as most people understand blogs, is a columnist. Which is why it was very easy for me to blog, because it's just a column with no space limitation, which every writer loves. On the other hand, we're seeing the evolution of blogs. Jerk.ph uses blogging software, but for the production of a newspaper, which means the rules are completely different. It's just the technology you're using. It just means, in fact, the traditional definition of a blog was anything online that had entries arranged to reverse chronological order. Today's entry first, yesterday's next. That's all. Doesn't matter what you put on it. Could be your opinions, your pictures, your poetry, ads, spam, anything. Now we're seeing that it is now simply a, a back to being a platform. But if your question is blogging as we understand it, it's simply the latest evolution in op and in opinion writing. Okay, there's a lot of truth what you said. But I would agree if I were reading the blog of Amado Drunila or Johnny Mercado. You know, many people think that if they make an opinion on the facts, they make an opinion. You cannot opine on facts. You base your opinion on facts. And it takes a trained journalist to make a distinction. To make an opinion is not an easy thing. That's why I stopped writing my columns. It's not easy to write an opinion because you must be responsible. But if you're talking of what I had for lunch, I had fried chicken and I'm 